Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy Native English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So, my dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2025 as well as NEET 2026 aspirants. You know, when it comes to the subject chemistry, in every chapter almost like there are five to six topics from which, which are the most important topics of a chapter from which questions are framed every year. Right? So, in this particular session, I'm going to give you some 55 to 60 topics of your complete chemistry and my dear students every year if you see the need 2022 2023 2024 right every year the chemistry paper is set from these topics only which I'm going to give you in the today's session and the PDF of this particular session I'll be sharing in my telegram group uh, you guys can join in you guys can search was seen but chemistry official right uh, wherein you'll find the PDF of this particular session as well okay so let's have a look on the chapter wise super important topics from which questions are asked every year questions are framed every year when it comes to your NEET examination or even your JE mains examination right so my dear students starting from the high weightage chapters like your chemical bonding in chemical bonding every year you get four to five questions and from which topics of chemical bonding you get these four to five questions my dear students it's hybridization Questions based on shape and geometry, right? Questions based on bond parameters, which involves your bond energy, bond length, bond strength, etc. etc. Right? So these are the short, short topics from which questions are uh, framed every year when it comes to the chapter chemical bonding. Next comes your periodic classification. In period from the chapter periodic classification, you'll be getting two questions. And these two questions will be 99.9% .9 of the times from these three topics. Electronegativity, ionization energy and electron gain enthalpy when it comes to the thermodynamics right from thermodynamics you almost get three to four questions every year in your need examination right in thermodynamics there are a lot of topics lot of important topics from which questions can be framed right one is your heat and work thermodynamic processes relation between delta h delta u questions based on uh, enthalpy of combustion enthalpy of formation enthalpy of neutralization enthalpy of reaction from bond energy data and then two more topics one is entropy one is Gibbs free energy these are I would say thermodynamics is entirely important I would say all the topics in thermodynamics right they are equally important so we cannot predict like we can predict in other chapters like we predict the questions the important topics from other chapters right but in thermodynamics you cannot do that to much extent Right? Because all the topics are equally important when it comes to the chapter thermodynamics. Anyways, I still have mentioned those topics from which questions have been uh, framed every year in the NEET examination. And you can expect the question from these topics again in your NEET 2025 as well as NEET 2026. Right? Moving on. Equilibrium. Every year, three to four questions almost. Now, what are the short, short topics of equilibrium from which questions are framed and will be framed this year also? Characteristics of equilibrium constant, which is a very simple topic. KPKC calculation, a uh, Lee Chatelier principle, pH calculation, buffer solutions, and solubility product. These are the topics which are there in the chapter equilibrium. I mean chemical plus ionic equilibrium both, right? These are the short, short topics which you are going to prioritize the most. When it comes to your general organic chemistry in GOC, every year almost like three to four questions again. The short, short topics are your resonance, hyperconjugation, aromaticity, Carbocation and carbanion stability. Carbanion stability. These are the short, short topics from which questions will be asked every year. Then comes your chapter solution. In the chapter solution, uh, ideal, non-ideal solution is the first topic, and then comes your colligative properties. That is the second topic, which is the most favorite topic, right? From the chapter solution, from which every year you get the questions, and you'll be getting this year also from the same topics. Electrochemistry. Guys, uh, first of all, let me clearly tell you why I'm able to predict these. Because these are the most important topics of the chapter. And questions always get framed from the most important ones. They, they won't be asking the questions from the less important topics. It's a common sense, right? So, if you analyze the past five-year papers of your NEET examination or, or even JE mains examination, these are the topics from which the questions have been framed. And these are the topics from which the questions will be framed till NEET examination is there. Or even JE examination is there. All right, look at the electrochemistry part. In the electrochemistry part, the most important one is Nernst equation, followed by electrolysis and its products, kohl ross law, right? Now, it's basically electrochemistry plus redox. And from the redox, it's oxidation state and redox titration. 
these are the sure shot topics from which questions will be framed chemical kinetics three important topics one is your first order reaction right first order reaction which involves your integrated rate equation etc etc experimental determination of order and arena equation these are the three sure shot topics of the chapter chemical kinetics moving on coordination chemistry again you will be getting two questions from it and the three topics which are the favorites one is your valence bond theory one is your crystal field theory and one is your isomerism right these are the three short short topics of the chapter coordination chemistry when it comes to mole concept mole concept includes your stoichiometry calculations number one empirical molecular formula concentration terms none of the question will be asked apart from these three topics which are mentioned over here from the chapter mole concept similarly when you talk about atomic structure atomic structure is very predictable you will be most of the times you'll be getting the questions based on the bohr's model which involves questions based on radius velocity time period frequency energy calculation of nodes right which involves your uh, radial nodes your angular nodes uh, quantum numbers is again one more topic probability distribution diagram for 1s and 2s right have an eye on this particular topic as well okay moving ahead when you talk about the dna block elements again from the chapter dna block elements you'll be getting two questions right and which are the short short topics from which you'll be getting these two questions first row transition elements what do you have to study in these first row transition elements you have to go for their ionization energies oxidation states magnetic properties and then their color similarly there are two important compounds which are mentioned in this particular chapter one is k2cr207 and one is kmno4 their preparation and properties you need to study right anyways we do its reactions in redox only right if you have watched my redox reaction like uh, day before yesterday i only completed that chapter in that particular chapter i have discussed the reactions of k2cr207 and kmno4 in detail right and by the way tomorrow we are doing the atomic structure i would want you guys to join in the atomic structure chapter exactly at 7 pm tomorrow right we shall be completing that similarly one more topic it is important one lanthanoid contraction it again forms the, it is again the short short question only from the chapter dna block biomolecules there are few compounds which we have to study in biomolecules right i believe uh, you do these topics in your uh, biology as well uh, you will be getting frequently questions based on glucose fructose sucrose lactose maltose right important ones similarly alpha amino acids peptide linkage polypeptides right just the elementary idea here just the elementary idea of these just the elementary idea of these okay then comes your denaturation of your proteins again one important topic from the chapter biomolecules and from the biomolecule chapter you every year get one question right it can go to two questions as well right it can go till two questions as well but minimum you'll be getting one question from this chapter biomolecule which is the easy kill chapter and i would highly recommend you guys to study this particular chapter directly from the textbook no need to go for any lectures no need to go for any notes or i mean any books or something directly read this particular chapter from your ncrt that is super sufficient for you moving on to the organic chemistry in organic chemistry first of all in goc i told you what to do now the other part of the organic chemistry what exactly are the short short favorites all naming reactions see you cannot predict the question based on naming reaction you cannot say from this naming reaction question has come from this naming reaction question is going to come no whatever naming reactions are given in your ncrt make a sheet of those naming reactions and try to revise all those naming reactions every day for like 10 to 15 minutes that's how you are going to remember the naming reactions reactants products reagents etc etc everything and all the naming reactions which are given in the ncrt only they will be touched right in the other reference books there are a lot of other naming reactions which are given to you are not supposed to consult them whatever naming reactions are there in ncrt that's super sufficient nothing apart from that right so questions based on naming reactions these reactions sn1 sn2 e1 e2 from these reactions questions are frequently asked you would have seen the papers as well dehydration lucas test yes again very important distinguishing test which involves your phalanx test uh, your tolvins and the iodo form right again a super important one well particularly few naming reactions which you have to prioritize more one is your aldol canizoro and clazen right focus more on these naming reactions because on i would say on every alternate years questions are based on these particular three naming reactions other naming reactions you have to do as well but these are the mostly touched naming reactions which are asked then comes your diazotization coupling reactions uh, and your basic strengths of amines perfect uh, again this is important jaldal's method dumas method chromatography distillation well chromatography you are not going to go in the detail right just the elementary idea of what chromatography is all about and what distillation is all about but this jaldal's method and dumas method you have to study in detail right 
So this was your organic. Now the last part that is your P block elements. In P block elements, right, which includes your group 13 to group 18 elements, three questions will be asked from here. Perfect. Number one, short short topic that's electronic configuration of group 13 to 18 elements. The general trends, the general trends of this P block, right, and unique behavior of the first elements of all the groups when it comes to the P block elements. And this particular chapter only and only, again, you are going to study from your NCRT only. Nothing more than that. Whatever things are given mentioned in the NCRT, just follow that, right? No need to go for the lectures of P block. That is going to be the wastage of time itself. Just your NCRT is more than sufficient when it comes to the P block elements. So guys, in total, in total, these are almost, almost 50 to 60. I don't exactly remember how many topics are these. These are in total 50 to 60 topics, which if studied properly, definitely you can score 160 plus in your chemistry. But one thing I'll tell you here, this does not mean only you'll focus on these topics. This does not mean only you'll study these topics. You are going to study other topics too, but you have to prioritize these given topics more. That is my point, right? And at the same time, on this particular channel, we have started a series, a free series for all the need 2025 20, as well as 26 aspirants, wherein I have completed three chapters till now. One is your whole concept, one is your redox, and Tomorrow, it's going to be atomic structure exactly at 7 p.m. I would want you guys to follow that series with 100% sincerity because everything, all the things which are there in the chapter, every single thing is discussed in detail, in detailed manner. Just check one of the lectures, right, which I have recently uh, taken. You'll understand that nothing is left. Every single problem pattern, every single theoretical question, every single thing from a particular chapter is done and dusted in detail. I would highly, highly, highly recommend all of you to join that particular series, particularly the ones who cannot afford the paid batches, right? So this was an important session which I felt to share with all of you and the PDF of this particular session I'll be sharing in my Telegram channel, which is Vaseen But Chemistry Official. You guys can join in, right? Wherein you'll be getting the PDF of this particular session. So with this people, I'll be taking a leave. God bless you all. Take care and love you all. Bye-bye, guys.